This is Umar from the Fight Wire, proudly sponsored by Gold Star Promotions. I'm joined by the King himself, the WBO champ, Chris Willem Smith. So where are we going? Vitality or Sellers Park? <laughs> not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure it'll be either in the end, but um, look, it, it won't be Sellers Park. I can promise you that. Is that because he's a, a secret Millwall fan? Or? Absolutely. You, you know, you know the score. <laughs> I'm not sure how that all came out, to be honest, but um, did you just find that out recently or have you always known? Well, yeah, no, I've, I've known for a few years. I've been waiting for the rematch to get uh, to get spoke about and then him start trying to tell everyone he's a, a Palace fan when I've got pictures of him in a mall. Shirt. So it doesn't look good for him. But, um, look, I get it. He's trying to build his name. Football club helps. I think, I think people see through it in the end. I think, you know, I had a season ticket when I was 12 years old at Bournemouth, so it's, it's a little bit different. I, look, I used to like Chelsea as a kid because Bournemouth were in Division 3, but... I never went and watched them play or anything like that, but Bournemouth has been uh, a big part of my life for the last 20 odd years, so uh, the authenticity is there. In fairness, I was just going to say that and address that. I did see a few people say, oh, you're from Epsom, um, you're not a Bournemouth fan, etc. So, But you've, you've addressed that on social media in here now, anyway. Yeah, yeah, look, I, look, I was born in, in Surrey, yeah, but I lived in Bournemouth since I was three years old. I think someone said that it was a, a PR stunt when I realised, but just... And then I replied to him saying, what, like the season ticket was at 12 till 14. And before I even laid, put on a pair of gloves, that was. So uh, I was a Bournemouth fan before I was a boxer. But it looks like we're not going to a stadium then, Chris. We don't know. I don't, I don't know yet. Um, there's talk of it being end of April, May time. It just, look, it's early days in, in, in where it's going to be, I think. But um, yeah, I, I just know it won't be Celeste Park. I'm including the likes of Apatai and Bradis in this. Where, where do you rank Richard Reactboy as a challenge to you in the world scene? Um, he might be, might creep into the top five. I think those two guys, Apatai and Bradis, are, uh, you know, are, are, are the, the other two, are, you know, take myself out of it. Um, they're sort of the top two names. Then you probably put someone like um, Gulamirian in there. You know, as a reason he's been champion for so long. Yes, he's inactive, but still carries a threat and has got some good wins. Um, yeah, Richard probably maybe, you know, fifth, maybe fourth uh, in terms of... I still think Lawrence is better than, than Richard. Um, I think he's a harder fight for most cruiserweights um, than Richard is. Um, they have different attributes, but um, yeah, I'd probably put Richard in at number number five. Do you think Lawrence would beat Richard if they fought? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I think um, yeah, I think Richard's too. When Lawrence doesn't knock people out, he knows how to win rounds still. But Richard loses a lot of rounds in his fights, a lot of rounds. But then he his power gets him out of sticky situations, and we've seen that over the over the years in in, in the. Uh, in the meaningful fights so um, yeah when he doesn't knock someone out then we don't we don't know what happens because he carries good power and he's been able to get rid of the level he's boxed so far how much have you developed since that fight like the first fight with Richard I mean you've come on leaps and bounds but it's like a completely different Chris Benham Smith going into this rematch absolutely yeah and um, that's I don't think he's stupid enough to look at the the first fight and think um, you know, I've, I've dealt with him once, I'll deal with him again. Um, not that it was dealt with in, in exactly a convincing manner, but um, yeah, I think still he'll be shocked at how much I've improved once you're in the ring with me. And I think that's a lot of the, I think me and Lawrence are the same in that sense. You might watch us on TV and think we don't do that much that well, or we don't look great, but Lawrence so effective at what he does. And that's why he was never ever close to getting beat um, before. And then same with me, you know, people get in the ring with me, whether that's sparring or, or, or fighting on fight night, and they're like, this is serious. Um, and a lot of, a lot of people realise that um, after they've sparred me or, or, or boxed me. Of course, in the Cruiserweight division, there's two big rematches to look forward to, yourself and Richard, and um, Jai Abitaya and Myris Bradis. I know the Saudis really do like Jai Abitaya, um, and if he does beat Myris Bradis again, and you beat Richard Riakbo and, and keep that world title, all roads lead to yourself and Jai Abitai, potentially in Saudi, Chris. That's why I've kind of brought it up. Is that what we're gunning for? Is that the end road? 
that fight is, where it is, you know, Saudi's not um, at the moment on my wish list as such in terms of maybe because it has a, it's building its name at the moment. Do you know what I mean? It's early days. You know, I didn't grow up dreaming of fighting in Saudi Arabia because I haven't been there. I've never seen fights there before the last year or so. This is a business, so yeah, but it is a business. And look, the the money talks, and um, I'm sure I'll get out there at some point, whether that's for for, for a holiday or to box, and um, I'm sure I'll like it. But um, yeah, it's it's the fight. The fight I want is, is 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 after Richard will be other titles, whether that's the IBF, the WBA, the WBC. So um, it may lead to to Jai Pattaya. How good do you think Jai Pattaya is, Chris? I think he's very, very good. I do think he's very, very good. I think he's overhyped for what he's done in the last two fights because those guys haven't boxed at British level before. And it's such a big jump. Saying that, I, I, I rate him highly. I do think he's a, a really, really good fighter. Really interested in the rematch, to be honest. I think Bra Bradis' inactivity may be an issue, but you never know because I've, I've been in his training camp and he prepares diligently. Um, and if you keep preparing the way you're supposed to, if he stayed fit, which he's never looked like he ballooned up in weight or anything like that, probably stays in shape a lot. Um, he's been around a lot of the fights, trying to get fights, even before the, the Opatai rematch, Opatai fights. He was at the Jordan Thompson fight. I saw him then. Um, so, yeah, I think he's... He, It'd be interesting to see how good he is and, and, and what that happens in that rematch. So I, I, look, I, I rate Jai Pattaya. I think he's a really good fighter. And at the moment, he's maybe seen as number one in the world. But, but it's not because of his last two fights and how he's gone about. It's because of beating Bradis, who was the number one in the world at the time in a lot of people's eyes. Um, and the, the, the manner of the last two fights. You know, If I'd gone and wiped out Mastanek in two minutes then people might think differently because Masanek's a higher level than Ellis Soro. Um, but I haven't, so I, I can't complain that people see him as, as, as number one. But we'll soon, soon, soon enough we'll find out, you know, um, we've both come through our next fights, then uh, that might be the one after. Message for Richard React for? Um, I'll see you soon. Chris Billingsmith, appreciate your time. We'll speak soon, all right? Thank you. Man.